Hey, it's Akata Wolf, and today we're going to be discussing glass, what it is, how to get it, and what you can do with it. So, I'll leave my one dog guarding my bed, and the other can come with me. So, to get glass, you need sand. So, you can, if you are lucky enough to find a whopping great desert, like I have over there, then you can use that. Uh, otherwise, uh, just use the sand, you'll see it in all kinds of beaches and stuff. Uh, this stuff here is fine uh, it's a little bit slower to to dig it out if it is underwater but this stuff here is really quick to dig out and get myself a couple of pieces without flooding there we go and if you haven't seen it before if you dig stuff out um, if you dig stuff out underwater it will float to the top Sometimes it takes a little bit to float to the top, but you'll get there eventually. So then you come over here, and in the furnace, or the blast furnace, you put your sand in there, and then uh, the furnace cooks it, and out comes some glass. There we go, so we've got a piece of glass there. Uh, I've been making some glass in preparation for a project I've got coming up soon, which you'll see on the channel. So uh, we'll just leave that to go ahead. Uh, once you have, once you have glass, so you can have, you can do glass blocks. So they look like this. You can see through them. See, you can see my dogs through there. Uh, they still function as solid blocks, so you can use them to um, I don't know, trap villagers in place, which is what how I'm going to use it. Or, or you can use it to put around your farms, for example. Uh, but anyway, so one of the annoying things with glass uh, is that unless you have a silk touch tool, like a silk touch pickaxe, uh, you can't get it back. So be very careful when you uh, put it down because it just breaks. Right? Kind of like glass. Um, and silk touch pickaxe means that if you've got a pickaxe which is enchanted with the silk touch uh, enchantment which is not something that you're likely to get until at least midway through the game uh, if you're lucky sometimes you can get it from villages from trading that sort of thing uh, but once once you get that and we'll cover uh, enchanting in another video but if I was to just hit this with a regular pickaxe see it just breaks I don't get it back so you so we take them from here what you can do also with glass if you have six pieces there we'll turn into 16 glass panes oh, should have put that down there and the way these look so you can't really see it on one but you put a couple all together and then maybe we get whoop, maybe we get some let's go oak logs Let's say oak log here, oak log there, and you can probably guess where this is going. From here, you know, you can build yourself a nice window. It can be a little bit tricky to whoop. That's gone. To get the hitboxes. But there you go. So, you know, this is how you can build a um, a really nice window or something like that. So see it's only a small part of the uh, block kind of like how uh, fences don't take up the whole block so you know you can provide some nice depth in there as opposed to I'll show you with a regular glass pane and right now I'm glad that I've got an entire desert over there I'm not going to run out of glass so you can see the difference between the glass blocks and the glass panes so that's what those look like uh, and then if you have some dyes and stuff you can let's have a look at these so all right we can actually get some white dye i've got some in over here so from bone meal we can create we can create some white stained glass so that like this so you've got all these different shades that you can do you just need to get the different dyes so some of these dyes are from uh, flowers I'll cover dyes in a, another video but 
right now. Let's let's just do this pink one real quick. Oh, sorry, magenta. So with magenta, we can get some magenta stained glass. And you can get this cool effect going on. From different colors. So you can use that in your building and the same thing with um, panes. So I probably don't have enough to, oh, yeah, I can get some paint. Oh, there we go. So you can, you can dye the paints rather than, I was just thinking, <laughs> creating out of this, but of course you can create it from the paints, uh, from the glass blocks. So same thing if you wanted a pink window, let's say maybe uh, like these are, these are really good for things like churches or, you know, uh, Gothic style architecture. Uh, maybe you're creating a pink house. I don't know, like a Barbie house or something like that. Um, all those sort of things. So that is glass in a nutshell. Uh, be careful when you place it down uh, and it can be tricky to find it, to clean it up, particularly the, particularly the non-stained stuff. But super useful building material, easy to get. Uh, all you need to do is just cook it down with a furnace or blast furnace. All right, I'll see you in the next one.